It is Wednesday, January 16th, and today I check into the hospital for my last round of chemo. I am super, super pumped about it. Granted, I might not seem super pumped right now. I just woke up. The sun's very bright. I probably should, uh, see if I could close my blinds even more, because it's, <laughs> it's killing my eyes, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is my, this is going to be the second cycle, so... Uh, obviously when I started out, um, with chemo back in August, I, um, I started out with my first cycle, so ending on my second cycle, which is always really hard on my body. So the way that today will work, the way that, um, this whole process works, when you are going to get admitted into the hospital, they, you have to wait around for a phone call that says, hey... Uh, we have a room available for you, and then they'll tell you the room number. After that, I go to my oncologist's office. They check me out to make sure that I'm actually able to do the chemo. And then from there, I go over to the hospital, and I wait around some more. It's a complete waiting game. I have gotten this pattern down, and so why, like, rush to the hospital... And wait five hours before you get chemo, you know? Not knocking them. But it's just, it is what it is. That said, I figured why not give you all a little bit of a story time. So my last cycle, cycle seven, I had to go to my oncologist office at 8.30 in the morning. It was the day after Christmas. And when they called me and asked if I could be there at 8.30, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. That is way too early. But I went anyway. And then after she checks me out, uh, I said, can I, instead of me going over to the hospital right now, can I go get breakfast? I'm not gonna lie. Well, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'd already had breakfast. I just didn't want to go to the hospital. So, we went shopping instead. Granted, I have my mask on. I don't go out in public without a mask. But, anyway, we went to a few stores, and then we went and had lunch with a friend. Around 12 o'clock, check in. It wasn't until 5 that I actually started getting chemo. So, my point is, is why rush? Why rush over there? In case you were wondering, it's 1031 and they still haven't called. But, I figured, why not go ahead and pack up before they call. See, look at me, getting a head start over here. I'm really proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. So I just got to my room. And look, it's all decorated. I wonder who did that. <laughs> oh my God. Hang in there. Actually, I'm gonna turn the camera around. The real question is, what is up with this? I'm not having a child. <laughs> I'm not preg I might look pregnant, but I'm not pregnant, I promise. You got this. This is such an epic way to go out. And of course, Mario, Luigi. I have some incredible nurses here. And I have especially an incredible nurse named Jesse who has really taken care of me this whole visit. So I might cry. Oh <laughs> questions. None. I know what I'm doing. Diet Mountain Dew cookies. Mafa goddess. <laughs> I 
Hmm. I feel like we need to scare her this visit at some point. <laughs> it is 2.35. I just got changed in my pajamas. My port was accessed a little earlier and they are testing my pH levels um, to make sure that I can uh, get started on the chemo. So, it's again the waiting game, but we're moving along. We're chucking. Hopefully, my pH, my pH level is higher than 7 so that we can go ahead and get started. If it's not, then we have to wait a few hours. I think it's 4, if I'm not mistaken. Like 4 hours um, and then retest and they give me, you know, this like medicine to boost my pH levels. So hopefully we won't have to do that. <sighs> Just got a text saying, too low, buy carb for four hours. My favorite, my favorite nurse, who just told me my count was too low. That's not your count, it's your, your acid level. My acid level is too low, just came in. You wanna hear what my number is? You wanna tell them, Jesse? Five, five, five. point oh. We need it at 7.0, oh, five. Time together. <laughs> what time do they test me again? Seven. What time do you leave? Seven. <laughs> Doodles! <laughs> <laughs> I want to cry right now. Let's look at the balloons though. Look. She's responsible for that. That's right. She's responsible. I kind of like the monkey though. Where is the monkey? Oh. Above your head. Isn't he cute? He is. Hang in there. <laughs> I didn't say the beard did. I was just confused. I was like, did she think I was pregnant this whole time? Oh, you, come on. You knew better. Or did I? He did. He totally did. I would like for you to sign his consent, please. For the chemo. <laughs> the chemo I'm not going to get until late tonight. He might not even get it until tomorrow. Just saying. So I have my handy dandy schedule for my last cycle of chemo. Hopefully I will start, hopefully I will start this at um, around seven o'clock tonight uh, and be finished on Saturday. That is the plan, fingers crossed. It is 10.24. We got started with chemo around uh, five till 10. We are on a two uh, round of chemo is two hours. And then the one after it is 22 hours. So, so much fun. Good morning. Uh, it is, I don't know what today is. The 17th maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's the 17th, and we're still on the first day of chemo. Uh, it'll stop around 10 o'clock tonight. Um, I was put on a 22-hour drip, but they might actually slow it down, maybe, because my pH levels are not... They've dropped. It needs to be 7 and 6 right now. Uh, they just tested you know, my urine to see what my pH levels are again. Hopefully they are 7. And they haven't fallen anymore uh so yeah that's where we're at right now i just i've been trying to go back to sleep i woke up around like 6 30 ish it is 8 8 15 and so i decided i probably should get up i just called my computer Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do some stuff today. Maybe I'll work on some stuff. Maybe work on some editing. You never know. I'm kind of tired. I'm not going to lie. I want to sleep some more. Just don't think it's going to happen though. It is 10 o'clock. I'm still up. And we just finished the first day of chemo. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's been quite a day. I had some visitors come by. It is the best medicine to laugh. It was really good. It was really good to like 
just have some friends here and to not like really think about cancer or to think about everything that's been going on it's just it's always good to have friends that can come by and take your mind off of everything that's been going on hi everyone Michael here today is Friday uh, January 17th and I am on my second day of chemo I get out on Sunday um, so I still have a few more days in here but it's been a good day so far uh, I'm a little tired I had the intrathecal early this morning like around I mean they've told me down there around 8 30 I was back up here by like probably 9 40 and then we started chemo around 11 and I'm on this chemo until I'm on this round of chemo for three hours so from 11 to what 12 1 2 so around 2 o'clock then then I'll be done with this round and then I'll be waiting for 11 o'clock to come around for them to start the next batch uh, this morning I woke up I felt a little achy I didn't feel quite like myself but I did eat lunch ate all my food and um, we ended up pranking one of the nurses, which is kind of the thing that we do up here these days, apparently. Apparently my room is, my room was like the popular room where everyone wanted to come hang out at when I first got here. And now my room is the room that people come to, or, sorry, now my room is the room that people are afraid to come to and they are very paranoid when they walk in. Like, is someone behind the curtain? Is someone hiding in the bathroom? You never will know. Granted, it's never me. I don't know why they think it's me. It's not me. It just happens to be my room. I facilitate it. I encourage it, but it's not me. I'm not the one in the clown outfit. But yeah, we pranked one of the nurses, and uh, that happened around probably like 11.30ish. It's 1.30. I have not seen her. I wonder if she's still if she's even still here or did she leave the building all together because she took off like she went out she went like gone bye see you later so i just i wonder i hope she's okay can you call me in 30 minutes you call me <laughs> 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 Hi everyone, it is Sunday, January 20th, and yesterday I finished up with my last round of chemo, or I should say this morning around 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. I finished up with my last round of chemo. Um, yesterday I didn't vlog at all. I was feeling really bad and I actually slept all day. So, um, today I have some energy, not too much energy, but I do have some energy. And they, um, they pumped me full of blood, they're giving me my second bag of blood right now so I'll be going home soon and I'm super excited about that um, super excited to like take a shower in my own shower and sleep in my own bed um, so yeah <sighs> cannot wait it's only we started at 2 it usually goes about an hour and a half so it's, uh, it's two, almost 2.40 now, so got a little bit of time left, but I'm going to take a nap. That's what I do best. <laughs> and yeah, I will be talking to you all soon.